So we'll go through, um, you know, there's eight difference. There are uh, strategies and, you know, my preference for these, and we'll go through this at the end, but this is probably my, my favorite <laughs> strategy. And I think a lot of our customers agree with that. Um, aside from that, it would be the, you know, the volatility crush um, and non-movers. I think those are up there. And then, uh, you know, we're, we're starting to experiment with the volatility rise. I think that'll be a good trade too. Um, we haven't been trading it as much as the other ones, but this one we've been trading for well over a year and had really good success. And our customers have had good success with this. So, um, <clears throat> so the, the basic theory on this is, you know, you have a stock like um, Facebook, Google, um, you know, there's, there's quite a few of them um, that exhibit basically a price run up going into the earnings announcement. So the anticipation is, you know, um, Google's going to have good earnings. So, you know, a bunch of funds, you know, pile in, uh, adding to their positions. Not so much individual investors, but, you know, the, the big fish out there. Um, that's what we're really looking for is, you know, uh, institutional buying of this going into the earnings announcement. So <clears throat> it's a very short term trade, you know, in, you know, a couple of weeks usually. Um, and so you can see here, we, we scan it for about five to 20 days. Um, and we'll show you how that, how we do that with the system. So um, all we're looking for with this is a 25% gain. And, you know, if you're a stock trader, that's a huge amount. If you're an options trader, that's not, um, a huge amount, um, but obviously a good return, um, you know, in a short time period. So <clears throat> we open this up with a long call and we'll show you the specifics on, you know, how we structure that trade. You know, this is definitely an easy trade, um, the easiest um, to execute as far as earnings. Um, so we open it up, you know, at a specific time period within that five to 20 days based off of the testing. So maybe Google is like, you know, 17 days would be the optimal. 17 days before earnings, we'll get into this trade. And then from there, you know, we get out as soon as we either, you know, hit that 25% gain. Um, you know, if we have a stop loss, um, if that's hit, then we'd get out or at the latest, we'll get out right before earnings release. So we don't hold this through the earnings announcement. Um, and we're just using long calls for this. Um, so the reason that we use the long calls <coughs> is uh, one, you know, if you get direction right, long calls gonna give you the highest profit versus like spreads and things like that. Um, the other, the reason that we just go with a long call is because like in that graph I showed you, you know, a lot of these stocks that are, you know, having price run ups going into earnings also have volatility increase. So that the volatility increase on your long call is going to help cushion any kind of sideways or, um, you know, choppy movement in that stock. So it's a nice, uh, you know, buffer for this, whereas normally if you buy a long call, you know, if it's choppy, you're getting eaten up by time decay on those options. So this helps cushion that. Um, so uh, you'll see as in, in the results, you know, um, for a lot of these, it, it, it's definitely optimal. And you can, you know, if you're interested and you wanna try the spreads or things like that, you know, be my guest to, to test it in the system. I've done it, you know, hundreds of times. And, you know, I just uh, came to the conclusion that the long call is, you know, the answer for this strategy. Um, yeah, the, the short strategy is also, you know, um, same thing. You know, you're going to have that volatility negating some of the price gains, uh, you know, if you have naked puts or things like that. So, um, and same thing with the spreads there. So. Okay, so here's the basic trading setup that we do for this long call. So we'll go through and um, 
test basically, um, you know, all different days from 20 all the way down to five um, for each one of these stocks. So we don't have stop losses um, on any of the data that we have. Now, if you want to go in and test them yourself and put, try and put stops in, you know, you're more than welcome to. You know, we use our stop as, you know, before earning. So, um, you know, we've obviously you're not going to, you know, if you do 10, you know, you're going to have, uh, you know, a loss or two in there. So um, um, how do I get to that screen? I'll show you guys. Um, once I explain basically everything will go in the system, I'll show you exactly how I do everything. Um, <clears throat> so, and we're looking at monthly. Uh, options, days to expirations, you know, we look at 60. Now you can toggle these and try 30 or further out, but we found kind of 60 to be the sweet spot where you're not getting too much time decay um, and you're also getting volatility rise going into that even in the 60s. Um, you know, as you move in closer and closer uh, on your expiration days, you know, like a, two weeks out or something like that, the time decay is going to overcome uh, most of that volatility rise. Um, so we found 60, you know, two months out, um, buying basically like a 30 call. So <clears throat> on the Delta, so if the call is, um, so if there's no like, it's not gonna be a 30 specifically, um, but you know, so if it's 32, then we'd buy that one or 35. So, you know, we start looking at 30 and then, you know, go down from there. Um, and that, you know, we're just using the monthly options. So, so that's the basic long call um, set up there that we analyze. So, and you'll, it'll make more sense once I get into the system as we test them. So <clears throat> how do we find um, good candidates for this? So we're looking over the last 10 earnings cycles over here and we want price run ups you know, and we, we put from 15 days prior to the earnings. So it's looking 15 days up until um, right before the earnings announcement that it's gone up at least 3%, you know, seven out of the last 10 years. So um, this is, you know, through very, you know, lots of testing, we found this to be, you know, a good um, search criteria. Obviously you can change things in here as you see fit. Uh, you can change it to five, you can change 20, whatever you want, you know, uh, these are all customizable. So, so this is what we are searching for. And then from there, you know, we do testing on each one of those candidates. So <clears throat> just to kind of show you, um, this is like our bellwether for this strategy, Google. So if you look at, you know, all the E here, that's the earnings announcement. And you can notice, and this is just the last four, how the stock is just, you know, running up into earnings every single time. Um, and I think it's done at nine out of the last 10. Um, so, uh, you know, this is basically institutional money driving up into that earnings. And, you know, we don't hold it through the earnings because you know, may go down, may go up, who knows, you know, depending on guidance, things like that. But we know that a lot of people are, you know, piling into this prior to the earnings. So that's the trade in a short term, you know, a couple weeks, um, you know, depending on whatever the testing tells us. So, so this is the last um, 10 trades for Google pre-runner, uh, long call, you know, 30 Delta, 60 days to expiration, or, you know, that's the minimum. So, you know, it may be 70 or, um, so <clears throat> if you look at it, you know, the last trade, July 8th, it took two days to get your, uh, you know, and it closed out over 25%. Obviously, um, these are end of day data. So, um, so we're buying it at the end of the day and, um, you know, for that option and we're, selling it at the end of the day on the, so it was a two day trade. You know, this one was three days, you know, four days, you know, this one was longer, you know, three days. So, you know, on average, it's probably going to be, you know, around a week or so whole time um, for these type of trades. So you can see um, the, the last losing trade was, uh, you know, when the market, they started raising rates in 2018 and the market just tanked. 
Um, so that's the only time it hasn't worked in the last uh, 10 earnings uh, cycles here. So obviously this is one of our uh, favorite trades and has done very well for us. Um, so for you know Facebook, just gonna show the same type of thing where it's running up and going into the earnings. Um, you know, these are obvious examples, you know, hot kind of, you know, big cap, you know, tech stocks that have done real well. But as you'll see in our analysis, there's a lot more um, that do this. So as this, I, everyone knows these companies, so that's kind of why I put them out there. But you can see run-ups and, you know, we use the back testing to find the optimal entry point because timing's everything on these. Um, and so for Facebook, it was 19 days, you know, Google was 16. Uh, you know, the only loss was the same thing as that Google when the market tanks in 18. Um, but you can see here, you know, four days, you know, a week, a uh, couple days. <laughs> so, you know, pretty, pretty good, quick trades, um, making good money. Um, so uh, overall, you know, very good win rates, profit factors, and so those are the basic examples. I'm gonna go in the system in a minute and kind of show you how we do this. Um, but as far as planning the trades, we have you know, 103 potential trades for Q3 you know, that have winning percentages over 80%. We have 45 candidates. You know, these are all different companies uh, with win rates over 90 and we have 18 with 100% you know, win rates. So, you know, which ones you want to trade, things like that, up to you. We're obviously providing you the data, um, you know, giving you the specific entry day that is optimal for that, for that company. Um, and, uh, you know, the one thing we do, you know, this wasn't so much a problem in the past, but in the last two quarters, the uh, earnings announcement have been shifting a little bit with this COVID crisis. So, you know, we just kind of put that disclaimer out there and make sure, you know, before you get in that trade that the earnings date hasn't moved. Um, and you can verify that with, you know, I would do it with other um, sources. You know, we get all our information for earnings from Zacks. Um, so I would go out to other, um, you know, your bro other brokerages, um, you know, financial news sites, and just kind of verify that, okay, I'm getting in this trade today and, you know, Delphian says the earnings date is this, you know, you just want to verify that that is the case. Um, okay. Now, as far as the executing the trade, this is definitely one of the easiest ones. Um, you know, when we go through, you know, and you saw on Facebook, it's 19 days, that's 19 trading days. So it's not calendar days. Um, so you're only counting business days that the market is open. So any holidays you have to skip. Um, we do all that um, in the system, but you know, if you're doing it manually, you know, you just have to have to know to skip any holidays. And if the earnings announcement is before market open, then you count it as the previous day. Um, obviously always use limit orders when you're getting into options trades. Um, and then, you know, try and, we typically can get filled right around the mid price. If not, you know, we have to move it a little bit, but, um, let me check, I'm gonna get a lot of chat here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so once we get you know, filled on our order, then it's very easy from there. Um, you know, we put in a limit order you know, uh, for 25% uh, above the price that we, that we bought. So if we bought it for you know, 100 bucks, then we put in a limit order for 125 and then you know, um, obviously you're going to track it, but you don't have to look at it all day. Um, you know, whereas other trades kind of like the volatility crush, you're going to be kind of glued to your monitor on some of those. So um, this one, uh, obviously you did, the key is, you know, uh, put in that limit order as soon as you uh, get your, your trade filled. And the only thing you have to remember is, okay, if it didn't get filled by then, you got to get out before the earnings release. So. Okay, so that's a, a quick on the bullish pre-runner. So what I'm gonna do is gonna go through um, our earnings calendar. I'm gonna show exactly, exactly how we get 
you know, all those, all these trades, you know, 103 down to, you know, 18. So I'm going to show you that, um, you know, how we enter the proper criteria, you know, our stock list, um, the trading strategy, and then we execute what's called bulk tests. So we test them uh, multiples at the same time. So if I have 150 stocks that I screened, we can test them all at the same time. Um, from there, we download run results, and those are available to you in our share drive. And then you know, we can repeat the different criteria as we see fit. So um, before I get into the system, is there any questions on that bullish pre-runner? Did it kind of fast, so I felt like. <laughs> Just chat it if you got it. There's a Q&A you can put in there or you can put in the chat. Okay, no questions, we'll move on. Okay, so in our system, this is Delphian. Um, it's available under the earnings calendar. Um, so you can see on the calendar, we have all the different types of trades that we're doing here. Um, so I have the highlighted the bullish pre-runners, which is the first one that we are going to do. Uh, yep, I'm going to post the PowerPoints in that uh, earnings, the Google Drive, so everyone can have them. So <clears throat> from here, the bullish pre-runner, so uh, we have a few criteria. So this is where that search criteria that I had selected and showed you guys, you know, 3%, 7 out of 10. And you can change this and you'll get a different output. Um, you know, as far as the criteria, uh, you guys are really chatting at me here. Yeah. Um, well, th there's a question about um, using different amounts of contracts. Um, what we found to be the best is to, um, you know, because the Google is going to be a lot more expensive at one contract than Facebook or, you know, um, you know, Morgan Stanley, you know, it's going to be a lot cheaper than a Google um, long call. So we try and at least tell people to try and keep an even risk amount throughout, you know, the earnings cycle, you know, for each quarter. So, you know, you know, you start with, okay, I'm going to do a thousand per trade. So if the option costs more than that, you know, you're probably not going to do it. I think Google's like 3000 or something. Um, so you want to keep a level risk amount for these trades. That way you're not slanted, you know, in case Google does bad, you know, um, you know, that would really hurt, you know, if you're doing $500 trades and you did one for 3,500, um, you know, and you win nine out of 10 and that one that you lost the Google, um, pretty much wipes out all your profits from the other one. So you want to try and keep level risk uh, as far as contract size for this. Uh, and that's kind of like a best practice that we have. All right. Um, so uh, there's your search criteria. And all of these are going to have the same format here. Liquid options. So the stock list, you can create your own stock list in here and use that. Um, we created this liquid options there reasonably liquid. Um, I'm not going to say they're all, uh, you know, we, we did our best to screen them. We're going to be updating that um, in the near future, but there's, um, you know, there's a lot of stocks in there, probably like 300 or something uh, that have reasonably liquid options. So um, obviously before you get in the trade, uh, that's one thing you want to verify. Okay, is there any open interest? Uh, you know, are there any trade volume at, you know, this 30 delta that I'm buying? Because you don't want to be the only one in there, right? Because the market maker will, you know, take you to the woodshed. So, um, you know, always verify liquidity, use limit orders when you're doing these trades um, before you get into them. Don't just blindly follow everything. And you can always ask questions, you know, me or Sean at any point, you know, just send us an email. So, Okay, so, um, and then now we're looking at days too. So I put in <coughs> 10 days out to 180. So I wanted to get pretty much everything, uh, you know, within, you know, the next quarter. <coughs> so you can go through, you can see right here, we have 125 total. So, um, 
the way that we go through and execute these, um, this analysis, we fill out our strategy here, long call, you know, the same thing I showed you before, you know, enter at 20 days, 30 delta, things like that. So from there, you can do an individual analysis. Um, you know, this is Morgan Stanley, it's highlighted. So, uh, you know, 60%, not a great trade here. Um, so if you click, you know, you can go through and look at each one's individually. So obviously a, a lot better here for uh, Philip Morris. And that's the individual analysis. So <clears throat> what we do to make things, uh, you know, that's a time intensive process to go through 125. So what we did, we built this bulk feature. So the bulk feature is gonna test all 125 at the same time for that, this criteria. So we'll go through and I'll just show you an example. I pulled one up already. So this is a bulk test and there's only you know, two, four, six. Um, so I did it to make it quick, um, but so I did it for 20 days. Um, and you know here's the results and then you know we can download it to uh, excel and you guys all have these features you're, you know, you can do these yourself i did all the work so um you know but if you want to do you know try different uh, profit targets stop losses then you know feel free um, so we just download this excel and then i created a master list so i did this list of 125 um, for 20 days, 19, all the way down to five days. So where that resides now is in this share drive for uh, bullish pre-runners Q3 2020, right? So if you open that up, there's three different tabs and I put the criteria over here that we're using. So you can see, um, this is a, a massive raw data. So this is all those stocks tested at those different days, you know, all the way down to, to five. So from that list, I sorted things by win percentage and then uh, chopped out anything below 80%. And from there, you know, we still have a ton of trades. From there, I went and sorted by each symbol the optimal entry dates. So, um, you know, you can see Apple has a lot, um, has one, two, three, four, four different ones. So we go through um, which one's going to be the best entry for that. And we go off one percentage, profit, uh, profit amount, things like that. Um, so obviously, you know, this one right here, uh, 15 days, you know, it's the highest profit factor. And I guess the, let me show you what profit factor actually is. So that was for 15 days. Okay, so profit factor, this is the total amount of profit. So you add up all these green bars and you divide it by your losses, 23. So the higher the profit factor, the better. Obviously the higher the win percentage, the better. Um, so that's what profit factor is. So we went through and optimized, found the optimal entry for every single one of these. Um, symbols in here. And so that's the last column there. Um, so some people, you know, just want 90% and above. You can obviously, you know, sort and delete out any 80s or, um, you know, these, what, which ones you will want to take out of these are up to you. You know, there's definitely stronger names. Um, and the way I kind of filter that is, um, you know, if you see a bunch of occurrences for you know, like Align Technologies, Apple, that's going to be stronger candidates. Um, you know, if there's a lot, a lot of entry points that met, you know, our 80% criteria. Uh, ASML has been a good one. Um, <clears throat> so you can go through and look and, you know, if there's only one occurrence and it's, you know, a pretty small profit factor, then, you know, you may want to uh, not take that trade. But, um, you know, obviously up to you. But you can see like Facebook has, you know, quite a few here. Um, so that's, this gives me a you know, Google, obviously, um, <clears throat> that's our, our crown jewel of this one. So, um, so that's how we go through and find all of these best trades, right? And from there, 
you know, you have access here um, to go through those. And then um, we create an earnings plan, um, you know, which basically we'll go through that at the end. Um, but it's like everything all rolled up into one are these two PDFs that you have available there. And they're also in, in the system um, under the earnings uh, plan right there. Um, okay, so that's the bullish pre-runner. That's how we go from, you know, um, sort everything, go down and find the specific entry days for every trade. Now we repeat this for all the different strategies. Um, so we're, we won't go through and show you that again, um, but we'll go through and explain all the different strategies from here. Um, so is there any questions about how to execute, how we created those lists? Okay. You guys are a quiet crowd. <laughs> okay. So, um, okay. Next up.